What's up YouTube? It's Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Cat's Creations, and welcome to my July 2020 planner setup. Let's get right into it. This is my faith planner. It's more like a journal. It's not really a, a planner. I do very little decorating in this planner. I use this to really educate myself, learn more about the word and what changes I need to make a part of my life. It's taking notes on the verse of the day, taking notes on my devotion. It is just getting to know more and more about the word. This is my wellness planner. I use this planner to jot down what I've eaten for the day. Here it says intentions, nourish, and I use that to the fullest. I write down everything that I've eaten for the day, whether good or bad. Movement, I keep track of my steps. And here there are little uh, journal guided questions. Sometimes I answer them, sometimes I don't. I'll just put a sticker there. Here is where I keep track of my vitamins, my tea, and my skincare, my little habit trackers. Um, right here, I was beginning my intermittent fasting, and I just wanted to put a little reminder there of what I was going to be doing and how I was going to be doing the intermittent fasting. And that is pretty much it. That is what I keep and how I log everything in my wellness planner. This is my social media planner. I was gifted this planner through a Facebook group for Valentine's Day. Really nice, really bright and colorful. In here, I pretty much keep track of what I want to do as far as all of my social media outlets. Um, the way that it's set up is this is your today. I normally wipe that out and put Instagram. And here is the to-do list. Over here is my YouTube schedule, the different videos that I want to put out for the week. And initially I had this set up for Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. But I've kind of changed that setup. Um, the only thing that remained the same was this is my Instagram layout of all I'm going to post on Instagram. Here, I use it as a to-do list for everything for everything that I need to do as far as my social media outlets. And that is pretty much it for my social media, Modern Farmhouse Mini. This is supposed to be my on-the-go. I really, as we all, don't go anywhere. Um, but... I'm hopeful that when everything gets back to another type of new normal, our old normal, hopefully, then we'll be back um, going here and going there and I have my errand and where I need to go and what I need to do. Although right now I still kind of have, you know, things that I need to pick up or somewhere that I need to run to, but it's, I don't need to decorate a spread to do it. So I'm not really using this as of yet. And I don't know when I'll be using them. This is my journal. It is transformer planned. Because I liked, I love the covers of the Dark Floral Notes and the Dream Seeker, I decided to transform a plan. These flowers are imprinted into the paper, so I don't know how much more decorating I'll be doing because it's, it, the paper itself is just beautiful. Up here, I'm going to put an inspirational quote, and down here is where I'll be doing my journaling. If I need more than this, then I'm, you know, I can use another, a full sheet. But this is the dark floral side of my journal. And this will be the dream secret side of my journal. 
the, the big dream seeker was actually a monthly planner. I'm going to remove the monthly tabs. I'm going to use these little dotted lines whenever I feel like it. This is my journal. And this is Mama's baby, y'all. This is my catch-all, the dark floral. I transformer plan this as well. This is my catch-all planner, my work planner, and my business planner all in one. So that is it, guys. Those are all the planners that I will be using for the remainder of 2020. I hope you like this video. If so, give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe and the notification bell next to it. Until next time, bye guys.